We're Designing Spaces, the show that's all about you and your space, your home and surroundings. I'm Debbie Marie. And I'm David Jones. On Designing Spaces, we take a look at all aspects of your home and property, including lifestyle, so there's plenty to interest homeowners everywhere. So stick around and see it all right here on Designing Spaces. Next up on Designing Spaces, we were able to visit one home that has a very special purpose. It's been converted into a shelter for homeless veterans. Here's Kelly Lightborn with the story. This home has been converted to a shelter for homeless veterans. Veterans who have received purple hearts and bronze stars. Designing Spaces decided to pay a visit because not only is this restored house the residence for these veterans, it also incorporates features that contribute to a safer, more efficient home. Connie Blainley is the CEO of Liberty Manor for Veterans. I served on the board of directors for the Hillsborough County Homeless Coalition when I learned that 27% of our population in America are in fact veterans. And uh, when I heard about the statistic, I decided to do something about that personally. That's when it just all came together. We pulled our resources together and I had just enough actually to purchase a home here in Tampa, Florida. Um, it's an old home. It's 1954. I chose it because I thought that it sustained all of the hurricanes here in Florida. Our electric bills were around $1,000 and up. Luckily for Connie and the veterans here at Liberty Manor, there is a way to help reduce their utility bills and at the same time give their roof better wind resistance. And it's all in the attic. And to help us better understand is Michael Sievers from BASF, here to show us the closed cell polyurethane spray foam that has been recently installed here at Liberty Manor for Veterans. Thanks so much for joining us because I got to tell you, this is an incredible project. Yeah, first of all, we're actually very honored to be able to work with uh, Connie and all the vets here at Liberty Manor. That it's, a, uh, it's an honor to be able to do a project with them and, and give back to the community. BSF is very happy to be able to do this. Well, I got to tell you, a lot of homeowners already know about closed cell polyurethane spray foam but they really don't understand its benefits. The spray polyurethane foam, it's a, it's a wonderful product where it's gonna provide you some comfort and security for your home. You're gonna get uh, a good insulating product in there to help you save energy in your home, which everybody wants to improve their, their monthly budgets. You're gonna be able to have a roof or an attic that's tied down so during a bad storm, your, your roof is less likely to blow off because it's gonna be about three times stronger than a normal roof. And then the third point is the water will not get through this product. Okay. That will make it so if water ever did get into your your attic space, it's not going to come down into the uh, living quarters or cause you drywall damage. And we prepared a demonstration okay. for you so you can see this or witness it. I'll say that's a huge benefit for homeowners, but by looking at this, it does not look like a do-it-yourself project. It's not. You want to get a certified installer to be able to put this in there in your okay. in your home to make sure one, it's done right, and make sure it's done safely. So the best way is contact the manufacturer like BSF mm -hmm. and find out who who can do it in your area okay. and install it. Comfort foam insulation is not only going to provide you comfort, security, peace of mind for your home. It's going to be long-lasting and be with that home forever. This is Leslie Chapman Henderson, the CEO of the Federal Alliance for Safe Homes. Their mission is for safe, sustainable, and durable homes capable of withstanding even the most severe events like hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, and forest fires. Leslie, we're right here in Hillsborough County, which is, of course, on the west coast of Florida. So during a hurricane, what's the most vulnerable part of a home to damage? Well, two things to think about. Your windows and doors, your openings, and then your roof. Okay. And the roof is the most important. Often the roof is your first and your last line of defense in a high wind event, like a hurricane, a tornado, or even a routine thunderstorm. So speaking of roofs, why aren't roofs that were built to previous codes strong enough to withstand a major hurricane? Well, every time we have a hurricane, we learn things, and we incorporate those learnings into the new codes, making it very important to go back and address older homes like this one with retrofitting with things like closed cell spray foam. So there's a website they can reach you at, right? That's right. Flash.org is where any consumer can come to learn more and for free. Thanks again, Leslie. Thank you.
So, Michael, it looks like you've successfully completed your mission here at Liberty Manor for Veterans, making it safer and more energy efficient. So, how do our viewers find out more information about closed cell polyurethane in their area of the country? Kelly, very simple. All they have to do is go to the web and go to spf.basf.com where we can put them in touch with a quality installer in their area to give them an estimate. Thanks again. Thank you. These veterans have changed my life in many ways. What BASF did is it's couldn't have asked for a more friendly or heavenly thing to happen to us. I'm just this place is full of blessings. The Lord has brought me so much. It's 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 indescribable. Oh goodness, I couldn't thank this organization enough for helping out. Not just Liberty Manor. It's not about Liberty Manor. It's not about Connie Blaney. It's about honorably discharged veterans. It's about helping the very people that we owe our freedom to. All right, I don't know about you, David, but my house could use everything we saw in today's show. All right, well, let's see. We got the kitchen remodel. We mm -hmm. got state-of-the-art insulation. We right. have amazing home automation. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, being we covered everything, I think it's a good time to say goodbye. You're right. We are out of time, but guess what? We have more great subjects for next time, so be sure to be right here. I'm David Jones. And I'm Debbie Marie. We'll see you later. Bye. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.